know I don't need to uh, have you tell me how dorky I look with this hat on, but uh, it's not even 30 degrees out yet. And I got a frantic phone call from um, a friend of mine that's hosting a Christmas party Friday that he needs appetizers. So uh, I have to go get some stuff for an appetizer recipe. Sorry, my lips are frozen. Uh, so I'm going to head to the supermarket to get some stuff and try out a new vegetarian appetizer recipe that I found. And sounds really good, but a little odd. But you'll see that later. Anyway, I'm freezing. I don't know why I decided to walk. Oh god, it's cold. Oh, remember these? What fun. I only need a couple of things. I need to find a hand basket. Here's something funny. Did you know that in Europe, these little hand baskets actually have wheels and a leash and you can drag them all across the floor? That's their idea of a shopping basket, I guess. Okay, I think we got everything I needed. Now let's try to check out. Dun, 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 yeah, St. Mart is not known for their great customer service. Hi there, how are you? Oops, almost got busted. All right, are we ready for the ingredients? All right, okay, first thing, brie cheese. Yum, I usually bake brie, do it as like a dip, but this is gonna be interesting. Uh, jalapeno peppers, and I'll show you two ways to prepare those. An onion, if you so desire, you can use a white or a red onion if you want. Pears, yes I said pears. This is a red Bartlett and this is just the standard, uh, I think, regular yellow Bartlett. Um, by the way, do you know where the largest pear producing plant is in the entire world? Produces more pears and processes more pears than any place on earth. Factoid, leave a comment and I'll tell you. Okay, the last ingredient, a tortilla. Multiple tortillas. Yes, we are going to make a pear and brie quesadilla. I know, hang with me guys, hang with me. Stay there, stay there, I'm telling you, it's awesome. Okay, so let's begin. All right, so I've chopped up the onion. <clears throat> uh, next is the jalapenos. Okay, if you're not into major hotness, uh, cut the jalapenos very, very thin and remove all the seeds. The seeds are what actually produce the, the hotness. And I don't want it too hot, uh, so I'm just gonna slice this jalapeno very, very, very thin, uh, just the outer skin. That will make the best uh, flavor, I think. I don't want it too hot. All right. So, cutting up the jalapeno. Jalapeno. Okay, so our jalapeno is cut, and got the onion, the jalapeno without the seeds because I don't want it that hot. So next is the pear. Do you guys know how to cut a pear? Oh, holy crap! <coughs> that was a surprise. Um, anyway, the best thing to do with a pear is to cut it in a box shape. Just cut a big box around the stem. Okay, so the uh, pear I've sliced up very, very thinly. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, very thin slices of pear, okay? So that's that. Next, <clears throat> I'm gonna lay out the tortilla. The tortilla. Tortilla. Did I won an award once in Spanish class for being able to roll my R's? White guy. Yeah, me. Yeah, uh -huh. Anyway. Um, and then we have the brie cheese, okay? The brie cheese is very important. Um, this
this is not cheap, guys. A little block of cheese is off a little block of brie is almost eight dollars, uh, but it's worth it because I love the flavor of brie and uh, really adds something special to this recipe. Okay, so I'm just gonna peel a little of the plastic back and then we'll dig around the skin, get some blocks, get some slices, and lay it out on the tortilla. Okay? Just lay that out on the tortilla. Alright. Okay, then we're gonna lay down the pear. Then we're gonna take the onion and the jalapeno. And again, if you don't want it really hot, just make sure you scrape off. Scrape off all the seeds. Okay. Ooh, yum. Okay. Yum. Brie, pear, jalapeno. Yummy. Okay. Um, the recipe actually calls to use uh, olive oil. But I think in this case, olive oil has too much flavor to it, too much heaviness to it. So I'm just going to use basic canola oil. So we're going to go to the pan. Need to warm that up. Pour a little canola, canola oil in there. <clears throat> and again, this is a really great vegetarian appetizer. And I have a question for you. Are vegetarians allowed to eat animal crackers? Just a Cooking, cooking, yum, yum, yum. And here's the finished product. Trust me guys, I know the recipe sounds weird, but it is really, really, really good. Thanks for watching, see ya.